welcome back to a crash course in circuit theory. The purpose of this video is to summarize the signal conditioning subsystem issues. Over here we said that we can connect an input device to, uh, to the mic controller and the job of the mic controller is to read this value with its internal voltmeter. And this voltmeter can read digital signals. What that basically means is that if a voltage is above or between a certain level, it can read it as a 1. And if it's between another level, it can read it as a 0. We explained that there are many types of sensors that we can connect to the mic controller. However, they can be divided into two categories. Uh, one is digital, of course, and the other are analog. And this is a manual analog, and this is an automatic analog. We said there are limitations, and there are rules that you must follow when you try to connect a circuit to the microcontroller as an input. One of those being is the loading. The mic controller is a voltmeter and it has an internal resistance. I call it RV, which means R voltmeter. And there's a relationship between these two resistors that must be adhered to. The resistance of the voltmeter should be much, much greater than the resistance that's connected to the voltmeter. Otherwise, the voltmeter will not record the value properly. Just like the voltmeter that you use in your lab. You cannot read high resistors with this voltmeter or it will not read the value properly. The voltmeter's internal resistance typically in the mic controller is on the order of 10 mega ohms. So we need to keep our value RS smaller than this value. But there's also other limitations on the other end. When you connect a circuit to the input of the mic controller, depending on what is the position of the switch or, or depending on what the value of the voltage here is, it can be lower than actually the voltmeter inside the mic controller, which means that current can flow out of the mic controller into your circuit. So your circuit basically becomes a load. And with all loads, there is a minimum resistance. If the value of that resistor is too small, then it will take too much current away from your source. And if you take too much current away from your source, your source can become too hot and it can burn and become damaged. Therefore, there is a minimum limitation as well as a maximum limitation. And you must follow that rule. We talked about all the various options that are available as inputs to the mic controller. We talked about these five digital options. And we also described another option, which is directly for a high or low value that we want. We even mentioned that there are advanced modules out there that can allow you to change from analog to frequency or analog to pulse. This concludes the signal conditioning subsystem. Next, we will talk a little bit about components, modules, and circuits. And then we will conclude with an actual electronic system. And we will use the knowledge that we've gained over these seven, several videos to try to understand how that subsystem works or how that system works. Thank you.